is Jake from the Chasing Quality Podcast. Thanks for joining me. If you looked at my last video that I posted, uh, you'll know that I'm on a search for the perfect camera backpack that's not actually a camera backpack, but really a backpack in which to store some camera gear. Uh, I'm not a real photographer, probably not an amateur photographer, I'm just a guy who likes to take pictures. And so I'm really looking for a multi-purpose backpack uh, in which I can put my camera gear and rest assured that it's safe in there. Uh, you know, at the same time, do a lot of other things in that backpack, you know, water bladder or laptop and, you know, clothing for hiking and all of that other stuff. So I'm kind of on this search now for a, a, a new backpack. Um, one backpack that I got, uh, I received it for my birthday. Um, it's, it's going to go back, uh, and this is no fault of the gifter, um, because it's a backpack that I specifically requested based on the reviews. Uh, but once I got it, um, I took a look at it and realized this is not the backpack for me. And that was even before, um, you know, putting it on my back and everything else. Uh, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and pull it up here, right? This is the, uh, it's the Low Pro Fast Pack BP250AW. Uh, it is a... It's a good backpack for a photographer who wants a photography backpack. I'm pretty confident of that. Um, but it looks like a photography backpack. And I honestly don't want something that looks like a, a photography backpack for, uh, really for security purposes. So this is made by Low Pro, which they make, they make pretty good uh, camera bags. And the, the camera bag that I've had for about 15 years is actually Low Pro. Um, the problem is that everybody knows that Low Pro is a camera backpack manufacturer. So... Uh, this right here, this logo tells you, hey, I've got $2,000 worth of camera, or maybe more, $2,000 worth of camera equipment in here. Uh, go ahead and, and, and rob me. Uh, beyond that, it just, from the outside, it just looks very much like a camera backpack, and uh, it's not going to be flexible for my needs. So I want to I want to talk through this backpack, why I'm sending it back, and why it's not going to work for me, and why it might not work for you if you're in the same situation as me, but why it could work for you if you're actually a professional photographer. So first thing that uh, I want to mention is that this this backpack is voluminous. It's got uh, a, a ton of space, but like many camera backpacks, it's really designed for a uh, a DSLR size camera, not for a mirrorless camera. As you probably know, I hope you know by now, I use a Canon M50, which is a mirrorless camera, and it's uh, smaller and the lenses are smaller. So this is actually overkill for me as far as size goes. Um, yeah, uh, and, and and it's not it's not as versatile. But let's let's talk through. So from the front here, it's it's a black you know black backpack. Get the size here. It's pretty large, uh, pretty large. Uh, I would say it's close to thirty liters, maybe twenty five to thirty liters, uh, mostly for camera storage. So you've got this um, you've got this flap here on the front. And this flap does two things. It protects the contents of this this pouch, which is just a small pouch. I guess you put your wallet, you put some documents in there and whatnot, but it also, um, once you have these, these clips clipped, let me clip these things here, it, it keeps these zippers from being able to go all the way up. This is where you're going to store your lenses in your camera. Um, if you open this up, this is your camera equipment bay, your main bay. And what you don't want is you don't want this flap to come all the way open and all your gear to fall out. So this allows you to have it from the side, open it up, um, and this flap will keep these zippers from opening all the way. So that's that's pretty well thought out. Uh, but that's that's what this flap here is for. You got these these little clips here. Uh, on the bottom, you do not have any compression straps to hold a, um, a tripod or anything, but you do have in here. And I'm not gonna pull it out, but this is the rain cover. If I were to tug on this and pull it out, it's a full rain cover that covers. The whole backpack and keeps it water protected. That's pretty nice. Now let's turn it to the side here. Uh, you've got a pouch in which you could put a water bottle, um, maybe some other things, or you could put a tripod. I think it's really actually designed for a tripod because you have this clip up here, put the tripod here, put this clip around the tripod and secure it, and then you can carry your tripod here. Um, so that's that's nice. Uh, I would say that any backpack that I've got uh, or that I have that I'm using, I need to have somewhere to store my um, my tripod. It doesn't have to be this design exactly, but I have to have somewhere where I can I can store it and carry it. Uh, okay, so that's the outside, or that's that part of the outside. Um, up top here, you've got another pouch. It's not very big. Uh, I can put my whole hand in there. Uh, it's probably you know a couple liters. You could fit, I don't know, maybe a couple snacks in there or something. Um, let's turn it around. 
Okay, actually, let's go here first. Okay, so this is the laptop compartment. Very, very large laptop compartment. You could probably, my guess is you can fit a 17 inch. I haven't tried to fit a 17 inch in there. Definitely a 15 inch and absolutely a 13 inch. But it's got, a, you can see this, it's got a flap here. So you, a part for your tablet here and then a place for your, um, your, uh, your laptop right here. I wanna show you that on the bottom here, you can't quite see this, but, but where your laptop is and where the bottom is, there's probably a good inch of padding there. So your laptop is gonna be very well protected during travel. Uh, so that is, that is nice. Uh, I was hoping though for something that I could also use for a water bladder. And this, although I try to stuff a water bladder in here, uh, would just not, it simply wouldn't work as dual purpose. It's really just for a laptop. Uh, okay, so that's the laptop um, laptop slot. And uh, you know, if you're traveling, this is really good for you know going through airport security. You just unzip it, pull it out, put it on the uh, conveyor belt and move along the scanner. Okay, so the back, the straps, uh, uh, I have not actually used this pack, so I can't really talk uh, in depth about the comfort. I did try it on, and it seems comfortable once it's on. It doesn't, it feels a little bit awkward putting it on and taking it off, but it is pretty comfortable once it's on. The uh, shoulder straps are decently padded. Uh, they've got a nice little hook here uh, for, you know, uh, hooking something to it, um, or a loop to hook something to it. Uh, there are, it's the, the chest strap here to kind of keep those straps together. What I really like is I like the design of the padding for the back and lumbar. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, space here, and this kind of goes in the back. This helps with breathability, so you're not gonna sweat as much. And this nice big padding here uh, really hits the lower back and helps to keep it off your back and helps to keep support. So I could see somebody who's carrying a lot of camera gear, um, you know, 20, 25, 30 pounds worth, I could see this being a very comfortable choice for them. And then it's got the nice uh, hip strap, waist strap, that has got padding here and uh, you know clips here. So I could see somebody using it all day if they had to, uh, maybe hiking out to the woods to do some sort of photo shoot. Uh, but again, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm not really gonna go do photo shoots. I'm gonna go on a hike and take photos, uh, but I'm not going to just go out in the middle of the woods and, and, and set up uh, you know 10 lenses and, and do portraits and stuff like that. Um, so, but it, but it does seem very comfortable. And this does, I think this comes out, yeah, this has Velcro. This is attached by Velcro, so you can, un, you can undo the Velcro and you can pull this whole waist strap out if you don't, don't want it. And I think, my guess is a lot of people aren't gonna want that uh, because most people probably aren't gonna be using this to full capacity. Okay, so I think that that is it for the outside. Oh, one last thing on the outside, there's a nice, a nice strap here, or a handle here. It seems pretty robust to be able to hold it. Um, if you've got this thing full, you're probably not gonna carry it by your hand, but uh, it's there. Okay, so let's go to the inside. Uh, undo these. Okay, we undo, undo this front part here, and we will unzip here, and I'll open this here. Like most camera backpacks, uh, especially low pro, uh, you have Nice, uh, pretty nice space here for a DSLR. It was really awkward when I stuffed my M50 in here and my mirrorless stuff. It was just too too large. And I didn't feel like this was as customizable as some of the low pro stuff and some of the other camera gear I've seen. It seems to be very specific where the hook and loop Velcro is. Uh, you can adjust it a little bit, uh, but not enough for a mirrorless camera user. This is really large here. I mean, this, there's so much space here, but my camera, my camera really only fit like from here to here. Uh, and so it would just kind of bounce around. Um, and then the, the slots for the lenses, my lenses just aren't that big. Again, for a DSLR, you know, EF lenses, Canon EF lenses will probably fit pretty well in here. You can easily fit one, two, probably three here, maybe another one here, and then possibly one or two up here. These spaces up here are really awkward. I, I can't see somebody putting much more than a pancake lens up there. Uh, just because it's, 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 they're just awkward spaces. Um, and if you've got your camera with a, a large lens mounted, then you may end up needing to take up this whole space right here. Although I would recommend probably keeping this padding here. This is pretty stiff and it keeps, um, it keeps stiffness between these two spots. This can come out, this is pretty floppy. Uh, but if you had something like a 24 to 70, 70 millimeter lens on your camera body, it would fit pretty well right here. Um, so that's the, that's the spot for the camera gear. Um, yeah. 
I've already covered that pouch there. Close this up. All right, so let's get to the top part here. This was the part that actually kind of let me down. Uh, and there's this thing in there. I was hoping that this would uh, allow me to really use this as a multi-purpose backpack. But what I found is it's just, it's like a large open space. Uh, there are some pockets here for maybe a pen, maybe, uh, you know, your, your uh, memory cards, possibly, ba possibly batteries, and you do have a hook here for keys. But it's not really very well laid out compared to some of the admin compartments that I've seen on other backpacks. And this right here is just really, it's just open. You can store a sweater. You could probably actually store, you could probably store a pair of jeans, uh, a shirt, socks, and, uh, you know, clean underwear. I mean, you could probably store, so long as it's like summertime, you could probably store a full change of clothes in there. But if you're going to store a bunch of little items, I have a feeling they're going to be prone to falling out. There's like you, if you open this like right here, you can kind of reach in, but it's just, I don't know, in my opinion, it's just, it kind of just opens and then it's just there and it's, and it's going to fall out. I really, I wish that they would have put some more uh, hook and loop Velcro around the sides here, maybe even on the bottom uh, to be able to attach more things in here, but uh, they did not. And what I was really hoping for too was the ability to, um, if I'm not using it as a camera backpack, to take all my camera gear out and then actually have full access to everything. But you can't get that. You have this compartment and this compartment. They are totally separate. Uh, the two do not meet. So, um, so that's that's really my biggest limitation. And you know, this this compartment up here, you know, I thought maybe I could put a bladder in there, but it's really shallow. It's it's maybe a little bit deeper than a wallet size, a regular standard male wallet, uh, wider, maybe two wallets wide and, and, and a little over one wallet deep. Uh, so it's just not going to do me well. Now, I don't want to speak uh, poorly of Low Pro. Um, they're not a sponsor and, and, and this definitely was not a free backpack. Uh, but uh, in all fairness, I think that they do generally make decent quality backpacks. Um, if you are a, if you're a photographer and you're looking for something large enough to fit your DSLR, three lenses, uh, you know, possibly, you know, maybe even a, a small drone, um, your tripod, microphone, you know, and a few other things. I think that this is probably really good. It's just that for me, it's not multi-purpose. I cannot go hiking with this and feel comfortable uh, using it as a hiking backpack. And I'm not going to feel comfortable using it as an everyday carry backpack um, just because it's not, that's not what it's designed for. Um, it's probably designed for somebody who is a professional photographer going to a shoot who wants to carry several lenses and other gear, and that's all they're going to do. I would never take this with me to my son's soccer game or my daughter's volleyball game. I would not take this over to a family gathering for the holidays unless they said, hey, Jake, we want you to come over and take a bunch of free photos because we don't have to pay you uh, and maybe bring some flashes and things like that. Maybe in that case I might. But as I showed you in my last video, I've got a small low pro that I bought about 15 years ago. That would totally suffice for something like that. Uh, I could throw um, a couple lenses in there, my camera, flash or two, uh, and I would be just fine using that backpack. This is this is just overkill for me. Uh, probably not overkill for other people, but overkill for me. So that is the low pro fast pack BP 250 AW2. Again, Low Pro, you did a fine job of designing a camera backpack, uh, but I've yet to really see you design backpacks that happen to be good at storing camera gear and doing a bunch of other things at the same time. Uh, so I am now waiting on a shipment of a couple other backpacks I'm gonna try out, uh, one from 511, that's probably gonna be a little, little bit too tactical for me, uh, and then um, two from VanQuest, uh, one of which I'm hoping will work out for me. So we'll see, I'll try those, those backpacks and I'll uh, maybe record it and talk to you and give you my thoughts on it. And uh, if they don't work out, then I'm going to continue my search for the perfect backpack in which I can store camera gear that's not actually a camera backpack. If you haven't checked out our podcast, uh, check us out. We're on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those major podcast platforms. It's a Chasing Quality Podcast. Uh, if you've got some comments or feedback, or if you're a backpack manufacturer and want to send me some free stuff, you can reach out and hit me up at chasingqualitypodcast at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, 
If you're wondering whether you should like or subscribe or comment, I don't really care. Do, do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, if you really do want to give me some recommendations, though, you want to put some comments down in, the, down in that little doop 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 down below, uh, that'd be pretty neat, um, and I'll respond to you and um, give you some of my thoughts. But uh, until next time, you keep chasing that quality, because you know I will. Bye-bye.